In this grand dance of life, not all days will be sunny. When we're in a rainy day, when things don't seem to be going our way, can we learn to enjoy dancing in the rain? Can we find beauty in both the pleasure and the pain? Welcome back to the podcast. My name is Ari. On this episode, Dancing in the Rain. This should be a fun one, an interesting one, because that's exactly what Dancing in the Rain is. It's fun. It's interesting. It's stepping outside of your comfort zone and doing something that you probably never thought you would have done before because you switched your perspective on something. Life isn't going to be all pleasure. We all experience some pain sometimes. That's just the reality of the world that we live in. Not all days will be sunny. Some will involve rain. But can we learn to dance in the rain? Can we learn to make the best of a bad situation? Can we learn to view life as being both half pleasure and half pain? And these might combine and really fuse into something that's even greater than we can even imagine? Can we learn to appreciate both the pleasure and pain? Can we learn to appreciate when things don't go our way that many lessons can be learned and that if we just got everything we wanted right away, maybe we wouldn't have learned some very valuable lessons and became the person who we truly wanted to be, who we truly knew that we were going to become. We love to seek pleasure and avoid pain. That's the ego. We want all days to be sunny and perfect and nothing ever goes wrong. But how will we react when the day doesn't go our way? How will we react when we wanted it to be a sunny day, when we wanted everything to go our way? But that just didn't happen. The universe had a different plan. Something didn't go right. You didn't get that promotion. That person rejected you. It's just rain. And can we learn to dance in the rain? And it doesn't mean that you shouldn't be sad. But can we learn to make the best of a bad situation? Can we learn to dance in the rain? And not only can we learn to dance in the rain, but... Can we have fun dancing in the rain? And one huge thing is that you don't have to dance alone. Don't feel that you need to carry the whole weight of the world on your shoulders. I used to feel this way, and that made me feel very lonely for a time. Find a friend. Dance in the rain together. It's interesting that our mood seems to be influenced by the weather. Maybe some people more than others. But I know that we can be joyful whether it's sunny or cloudy. I know we can be joyful whether it's raining or snowing. I know we can have fun dancing in the rain. We can, but it's a mindset shift to make. Maybe some people would say, well, I don't want to go out into the rain. I don't want to get wet. And that is a valid point if you don't like getting wet, but your comfort zone might be a little too small. And I know I'm not a person who loves dancing in the rain, but I'm a person that knows now consciously that to grow and evolve and to become my higher self and to just keep leveling up it may require going outside my comfort zone and doing things that I never thought I would do before such as taking cold showers and meditating and dancing in the rain is the same thing you can really think of cold showers as dancing in the rain because when the water's coming down on you it's pretty much like it's raining and when we're faced with pleasure when we're faced with pain Can we learn to enjoy both of them just as both ends of a spectrum? Can we learn to dance in the rain just as much as we can enjoy being in the sun, sunbathing, sun gazing, just basking in the golden glow of this light and the golden glow of this love? Can we learn to have fun dancing in the rain?